Hey, 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 speeders! Movie Sonic here, and welcome to another Would You Rather video. And today, I have a very special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey there, Freedom Fighters! It's Sally Acorn here. How you doing, uh, Sonic? Uh, pretty good. And I swear the comments better not start spamming Sun Alley, because I know that's a thing. Uh... We, we are just doing a good old Would You Rather game, and you know, uh -oh. um,. It would be weird for me to date Sally anyways, because Modern already dated her, and, uh, yeah. So, we're not gonna do that. So, no comments, please. Anyways. You can't break the bro code. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyways, Sally, have you ever played Would You Rather before? A few times, actually, yes. Alright, well, pretty easy enough. Just explain it for the viewers. So, there's basically two questions. You have to, uh, click the one that you'd rather do. And there's a majority, so you have to click the one that the majority of people will do. And, you know, by the end of it, you know, you get to see who wins, but um, we don't really keep track here, so... Why don't we just start things off and already have a Disney-related question. Please don't copyright us. Uh, would you rather go on a magic carpet ride with Jasmine or take Cinderella to the ball? I mean, hmm. it's kind of an easy answer for me. I don't want to go on a magic carpet ride. That sounds fun. Yeah, I have to agree with you, because uh, me being a princess, I already have to go to a bunch of balls, and I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of them, so I'd much rather go on the carpet ride. Do you, have to wear, do you have to wear those fancy dresses? Don't remind me. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and go with going on a magic carpet ride, and yeah, 71%. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of people. Like, I mean, I may be a hedgehog that can run really fast and even stop time kind of through my running, or, well, time slows down for me. But, um, I would like to fly, you know? Like, that'd be cool. I mean, I know I wouldn't be the one flying, but you get the idea. Alright, why don't you read this one, Sally? Alright, uh, would you rather have an incredibly nice car or own a personal helicopter? Alright, well, I don't need a car. I run. My, ca my car is my feet. So, what, are my feet gonna be nicer? I mean, didn't you go on a road trip with Tom, though? I mean, yeah, but that was because I had no idea where San Francisco was. So, uh -huh. do you not remember me running and crashing into the Pacific Ocean? I tried to go to San Francisco myself, but I had no idea where no. it was. No, I remember seeing the movie. Just, I don't know, something tells me that that wasn't your true intention. You can't prove anything. All these theories are getting uh -huh. into your head, aren't they? Have you been watching film theory? No, it, it, it's just obvious. No, it's really not. For me, I'd own a personal helicopter. That sounds cool, because again, flying. I mean, yeah, this kind of ties into the last question, just flying. Flying? What? Wow. People really like their cars, don't they? I mean, I guess you'd have to go through schooling to get the helicopter license, which would be a bit of a hassle. Whatever. All right, would you rather have X-ray vision have laser laser vision, huh? So X-ray vision, like you can see like through things, like like what like what what would we see through? Um, it says you can heat up things with the laser and obviously see see through clothes with the X-ray. I don't want to see through clothes. Well, I mean, I think it's just including that, but I'm pretty sure it would be like you can see through anything. Is there like an ability to turn it off? Like I don't want to I don't want to walk around and see through people's clothes or see through everything all the time. I'm pretty sure you could turn it off, but my thing is I wouldn't want to have the laser vision in case I accidentally turn it on and then just kind of maybe kill someone on accident. <laughs> yeah, um killing someone by accident wouldn't be a good thing. So I guess having x-ray vision would be the safer choice and I mean, it can come in handy. You could witness someone robbing a bank maybe. Try and stop it. If you want to be the he heroic character like me. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and choose that. 66%. Over a million people Something agree with us. Something tells me 66% of those people were in it for the close part. Alright, moving on. Yeah, we don't need it. Alright, uh, why don't you read this one now? Would you rather always wear a top hat or always wear a giant clock necklace? How big we talking for the necklace? I don't, I, I don't even know what a clock necklace is. Is Would it be like a pocket watch just on a necklace chain? Maybe, and if so, that's not really bad. Always wearing I mean, a top hat. It. I don't know. You can hide it in your shirt. 
<laughs> what shirt? Uh, well, I guess you're out of luck no matter what, but I'm going to take the, uh, the clock watch. Or, uh, uh, necklace. Um, I don't know if I want to wear a top hat all the time. Those things are big compared to me. So... It tells me it wouldn't even fit on your head, right? I'd be... It, it would be, like... Okay, if we're talking about, like, a human-sized, uh, top hat, then, yeah, I'd... I'd go through it. If we're talking about one my size, then it'd be a bit more manageable. But I'm gonna agree with you and choose the necklace, cause that doesn't sound as bad. Okay, well, a lot of people disagree with us, it looks like. Hmm. Well, moving on. I guess I guess we can't win all of them. We've been agreeing a lot. Uh so hopefully we disagree on one of them, just to I guess I don't know, shake things up a bit. Would you rather have to kill the animal for any meat you eat? Never eat meat again. I already know what I'm picking. Which one are you picking? I refuse to go vegan. You refuse to go vegan? I am not going vegan. Never. I don't know though. Killing your own an killing like the animal for meat, that's gotta be maybe challenging. I mean maybe not for me, uh, because you know I'm very fast, but for you, I mean I don't know, do you have any hunting skills? I mean I could learn them. That's true. I feel like it's too much of a hassle for me personally. Uh, I don't know. Meat sounds pretty good. Like, uh, meat sounds pretty good. All right. I guess I guess I have to agree with you. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to see if we can pick a different answer, but I'm just gonna agree with you. And a lot of people agree with us, anyway. So, guess yeah, who it, wants to go beat? I am not giving up steak. Not happening. Be careful, Sally. You might upset a lot of people. I can deal with it. Who would you rather be four feet tall or eight feet tall? I'm already like four feet tall, so <laughs> what's the difference? You're more, like, you're more like three or two feet tall. Yeah, so actually being four foot like feet tall would be a bonus. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with four feet because eight feet you would just run into every single door frame that in existence. Yeah, so four feet tall. I, I get to grow a foot. <laughs> well Yeah. A lot of people disagree. Well, okay, let's be real. Honestly, a lot of honestly, I expected that because this is probably answered by humans. Humans don't want to be short. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, Donut Lord doesn't want to be short. I don't think he'd want to be as short as me. I mean, not only that, everyone wants to be the next NBA player, and you got to be tall for that. So. All right. Yeah. All right. Why don't you read this one next? Would you rather drink milk for the rest of your life or drink orange juice for the rest of your life? Orange juice. Orange juice? Um, I don't know. Like, you can only drink that, or is this like you can't even drink water or something? You just have to drink like one or the other. I think it's only that. I mean, like, I like milk, but at the end of the day, it gets old after like I'd say three days in a row. Orange juice, I can drink all the time without a problem, so long as there's no pulp. If there's pulp in it, I can't. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'm gonna agree with you on that one. I ke I keep agreeing with you. I'm not doing this on purpose. It's just, it's kind of obviously the best answer. And I don't think I'm much of a milk person anyway, so orange juice it is. And that seemed to be the best option anyways. Also, when I think about it, I think orange juice is more like uh, nutritious than milk is also. Huh. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I guess it's, it depends on which one is uh, healthier. All right. Uh... Would you rather get four hours of sleep per night, get 15, 15 hours of sleep per night? Um, well, uh, I don't want to, if you sleep 15 hours per night, that's basically sleeping away the entire day. I already only get four hours of sleep at night, so I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> who needs to sleep? I mean, I know all I need to do is just run and I'll be awake. Yeah, who needs sleep? Yeah, four, I mean, you're still getting sleep. Uh, get four uh hours of sleep per night. Everyone who's watching this video, uh, sleep is important. Make sure you get it. Uh, yes, please, please get it. Uh, let's just say, um, there was one time, uh, Silver stayed up a bit too late recording, and, um, he slept for about, I believe, 13 hours. Oh. Yeah, it was, um, it, it was very interesting. Um. I don't think I've ever slept more than maybe nine or ten hours i don't think i've ever slept longer than that yeah i mean don't don't quote me on this i'm probably over exaggerating but he slept for a long time like it was like you know it was like 12 p.m and uh and he he was still asleep mm. anyways four hours of sleep per night but make sure you get your sleep looks like oh. a lot of people value sleep 
Well, guess not everyone wants to be degenerate in their sleep schedule. Uh, how about we do a... Okay, this might be a bit controversial. Uh... uh yeah, maybe we should skip that one. Yeah, I, I'm gonna skip it. We don't need... Oh, no. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do a, a few more, and then we'll end it off. Uh, why don't you... Is it your turn to read this one? I think so, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, would you rather take the cinnamon challenge or take the gallon? What even is the gallon challenge? I have not heard it of that. It says, hint, the gallon challenge involves milk. So it's probably drink an entire gallon of milk. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I know what this is. Uh... I'm going to say, okay, I know that there's, like, stuff with, like, people inhaling cinnamon and it can kill you because it can, like, get into your lungs. But all you have to do is just make sure that you don't inhale and that you just kind of, like, you know, keep it in your mouth long enough to not to get very graphic, but to have the saliva build up and then eventually the dust particles will become like will ba like bond together and then you'll be able to swallow it. I know the whole thing about the cinnamon challenges though is like it's really dry and it like feels hot. But as long as you kind of like keep it in your mouth and you don't inhale, you should be fine. I don't know. Yeah, because here's my thing. I do know you can die from like drinking too much. So if you drink a gallon of milk like really quickly, I think that could also kill you. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the cinnamon challenge and just don't inhale. Yeah, I'm going to take my chances with the cinnamon challenge. All right. Yeah, 60 to 40. I think a lot of people agree with us. Um, so yeah, um, why don't we make this the last quick... Okay, um, <laughs> I would say make this last question, but I feel like this is this question for real. Be dangled over the edge of a cliff, be forced to public speak. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not afraid of public speaking. Uh, I mean, I've never done it, but I'm not afraid of speaking in public. Come on. I have to do it because I'm a princess. I mean, technically. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I'm not afraid of it. Technically, but we're doing also, public speaking anyways because we're on YouTube. I mean, I know we're not in front of people, but, you know, Silver does his live streams and I pop by. But here's what I'm wondering. What do they mean by dangled over the edge of a cliff? Because that could be fun depending on how it's done. Probably you have to hang on the edge of a cliff and it's like, uh, you're, you're almost going to die. I mean, I'd do that. I mean, are you going to, are you going to do the dangled over the cliff? Yeah, I'll pick that. So, because something tells me you're going to do public speaking. So I'm going to do would public be speaking because, I mean... Yeah. There yeah. we go. We have one that's different. All right, yeah, we have one that's different, and we'll see who wins. I feel like I I'm going to say if it's the one I think it is, I'm going to, like, I guess people are really are more afraid of this. Okay, that's what I thought. All right. Well, <laughs> looks like I take the win. Honestly, I thought for one second that more people were going to say they'd rather be dangled over a cliff than public speak. Well, because you would expect more introverts would play this game than extroverts, and I guess maybe not, in which case, I feel like dangled over the head of the cliff would have definitely won that. Yeah, well, anyways, thank you so much for joining me, Sally, and uh, hope everyone enjoyed this video. I guess I kind of won, but then again, we don't really play to have a winner. We just play for fun. So make sure to check out Sally's channel in the description below. And, you know, if you enjoyed this episode of Would You Rather, make sure to hit that like button, leave a nice comment down below, and uh, subscribe for more content. And make sure to click that notification bell to get notified. Got any closing thoughts, Sally? I just, everyone, have a, have a great rest of your day. See you later, Freedom Fighters. All right. See you later, Speeders. Thanks for watching.